Back in the days, I used to wake up early, go to Virgin Mega Store in Paris, talking about like 92, 93, and uh, wait in line, uh, get the copy of the new album of Bobby Brown. The guy would be here to sign autographs, sign all your copy of your albums, and like uh, I'm from this generation that used to. Uh, uh, an album was not only um, an album was not only a, a collection of different music. An album was uh, an object. You 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 when you bought an album, uh, you would read the the inlay card. Uh, you would read the the who wrote the lyrics, uh, uh, the lyrics, uh, who produced the track. Uh, etc etc but you would also uh, I remember for example when I bought the the album from uh, from Maxwell uh, I played it for two weeks and uh, so when I did my first album I had this in mind like when we do an album we we go from track one to track 17 and like I wanted my albums to be universe a universe like you enter a universe so the intro with the waves then the little intro music for one minute say something about like what this album is about then track one I would choose like uh, uh, why I put this track number first why to put this track number six usually I would put my my hit in number five or six and like uh, number two three four would be like uh, things to make you arrive there and then I would put like the experimental tr experimental tracks in the end of the album but all this is dead because nobody cares about objects anymore uh, uh, everybody has phones and USB keys that can hold up to to 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 songs uh, uh, everybody is streaming songs when you do an album and you're gonna choose the, the, the way that you want people to listen so you're gonna put track 1 here, track 16 here people don't care, they arrive to track 10 and they listen what they want they buy the little bit they want and it actually changed the whole experience I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying it's the way it is and uh, nowadays musicians must take this in account when they do music because I talk to a lot of artists that want to work with me and they always tell me oh, I want to do an album and I'm like what for oh, because yeah doing an album is important I want to give the object to my mom some, some I understand this but and I actually I, I always give my albums to my mom but the kids nowadays the new generation they don't care about the object everything is Im immaterial for them so uh, they're used to everything being material. They stream songs, they stream movies, they download everything illegally, etc. So you have to think about it when you're doing music that the album is dead. And I think it's better to just do songs. And uh, uh, there's nothing wrong about it actually, you know? Uh, because we, we in, if you see it on the other hand, it used to be a, 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 a hassle doing albums because you had to do an album and uh, you start you start work, working on your album uh, two years before and then the songs are released two years after so you have to make sure your songs will be current when you release them but nowadays well you can do a song like diamonds for example uh, when I heard the Rihanna version uh, and I liked it and I said to myself I want to do Kizomba version I heard it Saturday uh, Sunday morning the version was ready and it was out and that's amazing you can actually stay current and actually put out music when you want and not be like um, incarcerated inside the 74 minutes of an album